Many organizations have an approval process for time tracking. This means that employees must be members of a team and submit their timesheets to their team lead for approval at the end of their organization's reporting period. In this lesson, you, as a team lead, will learn how to approve the timesheets for your team members. You can start on your team's overview page. First, check that you have the correct approval permissions by navigating to the Team Permissions. Make sure that the Approved Timesheets permission is on for you. If it's not, just check the box and you're good to go. When your team members select you as the reviewer and submit their timesheets, you'll get an email notification like this one. You can click View Timesheet if you want to check something in your team member's timesheet in My Work. Or simply click Approve and your team member's timesheet is approved. These email notifications provide an easy way for approving each team member's timesheet one at a time. But you can also see the status of all your team member's timesheet submissions at once. From your team's overview, click Approvals and the status of your team member's timesheets is displayed. This is the current week and the reporting period is still open. Go to a previous week where your team members have submitted their timesheets to you and are now waiting for approval. You can approve all the available timesheets at once using the checkbox at the top of the list. Or choose specific members, then click Approve or Reject up here. Click Approve and you can add an encouraging comment if you like. Then click Approve Timesheets to finish. The page is updated and you can see that the status for these members is now approved. For a single member, you can click the Approve or Reject button next to their name and go through the same process. If you reject a team member's timesheet, you can write an explanation in the comments, such as them having too few hours this week and then click Reject Timesheets. An email message is sent to them and they have to fix the problem before they resubmit the timesheet to you. This will enable the option for you to go through the approval process again. Any comments that you make to your team members also show up on this page. And you can hover over this info icon to see a quick overview of that team member's approval log. Even after approval, you could reopen a timesheet to make changes if needed. Then the timesheet needs to be updated and approved again. From the More menu, you can view the timesheet of that member in My Work, open their full approval log, or grant a grace period to give a team member a bit more time to finish up and submit their timesheet. As you see, approving timesheets can be done in different ways, depending on what the situation is. Approving timesheets is one of your main action items as a team lead. But in the next lesson, you'll learn of other tasks you can do as part of the timesheet approval process.